ProPresenter syncing options allow you to synchronize multiple ProPresenter machines. That way you can create on one and it will update another machine. Now there's two different options. We have a local and a cloud sync. In this video, we're gonna be talking about local sync where you have multiple ProPresenter machines on the same network or you're syncing to an external hard drive that you will manually hook up to different computers. The other option is cloud sync, which utilizes cloud-based storage to synchronize any internet connected ProPresenter machine. You can find out more about this at renewedvision.com slash ProPresenter cloud. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about local sync, so let's see how it works. First, let's go to ProPresenter and then preferences. Under the sync tab, you'll see our local and cloud sync options, and we're gonna focus on the local option here. And it's asking us for a source. Now this is a currently mounted physical drive or network drive that's on your desktop. You also can just choose a folder on your computer, which is great for backups. So let's select a folder here. So I'm gonna select the shared location folder that I just created on my desktop and hit open. Next, it's gonna ask us what parts of the program we want to sync. So do we wanna sync everything that's in our library? Do we wanna do our playlists, our props, messages, and masks? templates and media. We're gonna go ahead and just select all of the different options. And then below here, you'll see we have a few different options. The first one that you'll need to do is sync files up to repository. So it's going to take everything that we've selected here and sync it to this source. That way on other machines, we can sync files down from that repository to utilize to stay in sync. Now we'll talk about these other options, but know that you need to do this option first. Now, if there are already files on this shared location, we can say replace files on server. For now, we're just gonna hit sync. And you're gonna see it's gonna pop up a message saying since we've enabled media, it needs to manage our media automatically. Now the reason that it's saying this is because media that we've brought into the program could reside in any number of folders on our computer. And if we don't have manage media automatically enabled, it doesn't know where to find all of that media to sync. So it's saying if you wanna do media syncing, I'm gonna automatically find all of your media, put it in a centralized folder, that way I can synchronize it for other computers. So since we have this selected and we really want to synchronize all of our media, we'll hit OK. Now it's going to go through and it's going to start sending all of our different ProPresenter files as well as our images and video, playlists, props, messages, everything that we've selected to that repository. Now this might take a little while, but if we go back to our general preferences, you can see that it's enabled this manage media automatically and that it's added some new search paths here. So that's what it did behind the scenes. If we go back to sync, you'll see it's finishing up our sync. Now that our sync is complete, let's look at what it did. So I'm gonna close out of this and let's look at this uh, drive. So in my shared location folder here, we can double click on this and you'll see that we have a folder with all of our documents from our default library. We have all of our media that's been imported. We have all of our playlist data, all of our templates that we've ever created, all of our alternate templates like CCLI and social media, and our different user data, which includes things like our audio bin, masks, media, and props. So that's what it did behind the scenes. Now, if you're on your secondary computer and you want it to get synced up with your shared location, this is what you need to do. So on your secondary computer, you'll go to preferences, you'll go to local, you'll choose the same location that you created, but instead of syncing files up to repository, you'll sync files down to repository. And now you have an option to replace your files so you can use what's inside the repository to replace what's on this computer. Now, if you want all locations to share with each other and sync up and down, all you have to do is select bi-directional sync.